my friends. Welcome back to another video. So, if you're interested in seeing how I made this, stay tuned to the end. I'm going to include a small little clip. It is available for purchase for anybody that is interested. Uh, it will have a hook on the back of it so that you can hang it off the wall in your kitchen. But I just thought it was really cute. It's a little wooden spoon. Well, not little, but a big old wooden ladle. <laughs> So there is that. You can email me or by Tammy at yahoo.com. So I am bored. And you know what happens when I get bored. I do crazy things. So why not take this 25 piece marble set, drop them into my painting and see what happens. Will it be magical? Will it be a dud? We shall find out. That's coming up next. So this is a big 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. I have four simple colors I'm going to use. I'm using Artist Loft as my pouring medium, which means I put some of this in the cup. So let's say I wanted a full cup of red paint. I added a almost full cup of this and I put a few drops of golden fluid paint just to color it okay if you're using anything other than a fluid paint to do this what I'm doing today you're going to want to put about a teaspoon of paint into your your little cup that you use you're going to want to put about a teaspoon no I'd say about a tablespoon of this or any other pouring medium into the cup and then you're going to want to thin it down the rest of the way with water. And I'll show you my consistency. It's a little on the thicker side because this is what the, the normal consistency for acrylic pouring techniques is. Unless you are doing the Dutch pour, the bloom technique, or the pearl cell technique. All the other ones will work with something like this, this consistency leaves a nice mound on the surface and slowly disappears. It doesn't disappear right away. Okay, let me put on my flash here so you can really see that. Okay, so that is the consistency of all my paints and it will dry. There's no gack or, or anything like that to stop crazing. It will dry. That's, that's the normal kind of consistency for an acrylic pour technique like I said except for the three I named so very simple red yellow uh blue uh like a ultramarine blue and a bright aqua blue that's all I'm gonna put these on the canvas though in puddles and I'm going to layer them in a way where these four colors will make secondary colors for me so I'm gonna put the red next to the blue it will naturally make a purple. I'm going to put the red next to the yellow. It will naturally make an orange. And I'll put the green, the blue next to the yellow and naturally make a green. Okay, so that's the gist of it. I'm going to make some little puddles. And then I'm going to drop these marbles in. And we are going to go buck wild with this one. Now, my background paint is already on. It's uh, Artist Loft White mixed with the, the pouring medium. And I also did a pearl white that you can kind of see on the background a little bit. It looks like two different shades of white. That white is the pearl white by Deco Art mixed with the, the Artist Loft. But what it's going to do is I'm hoping it's going to make a nice swirly metallic look through the background. So... I'm going to put you on time lapse while I put the puddles down and then come back for live marble rolling. 25 marbles to be exact.
one very important thing I forgot to mention, my colors, all of them, all four of them, have two drops of silicone in each of them. Just wanted to make sure that I made that clear because you will not get cells like the cells you are about to see without using it. You'll get cells that are really pretty, like in a Dutch pour, you get some cells and, and other techniques where you move the paints or dump and swirl, you know, you get the cells from that, from using the um, pouring medium, but you're not going to get these odd cells that you are about to see. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not gonna torch it, I'm gonna wait till I'm done tilting with the marbles to torch it. Uh, so now let's dump these marbles in. This part always excites me and scares me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but here we go. Whole bag. Let's just plop them right in there. Just like so. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a disaster. I can already tell. <laughs> All right, let's see. Marbly, marbly, marbly goodness. <laughs> They're going pretty slow. <laughs> the big one's pulling up the paint, which I hate when it does that. It does make some cool designs, though. Here, let me move my arm so you can actually see what the heck I'm doing here. This thing is just so big. Now, I think I'm going to toss the big one because it's like going faster than the other ones. Obviously, we all know that gravity. Yeah, here, let's let's get this one out of here, the bigger one, and just work with the smaller ones. <laughs> They're really not rolling at all. They're just like making a big old mess here. But you know what? I'm going to follow through with it. It's like a snail race. Seriously. The one good thing about these colors when using that Artist Loft pouring medium, they can muddy, but they can also come right back to life. So let's go this way. It's just pushing the paint off the canvas. <laughs> All righty. So, hmm. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus, save me. Go back in there with that. The bigger one works really good in these thicker paints. The little ones, eh, not so good. But you'll be surprised at what I can get out of this once I start doing some other stuff to it. The uh, canvas itself is just like really, really big for me to, it's not really, really big. It's just hard for me to manipulate. All right, I'm going to go right off the side here. So my intent here was to try to keep some negative space. Okay, and now I'm just going to tilt a little bit like off this side. Cause there's just too much paint on there still and I may have to maybe not thinking I might have to I still have marbles popping off somewhere here I may have to uh fill in these gaps that the marbles made but again we shall see let me just shut up and tilt this first Ew. 
you know, I can always add in color if I have to, if I feel the need. I just don't want you to form an opinion yet until you see the final result. That is very important. So I'm just tilting this way. I'm actually loving the composition of this, to be honest. I'm sorry for the horrible view. And I know the sides look horrible, but those will be painted in the end. And you won't even see them. Okay, I think we're getting close here. There, that should be good. Okay. So now it's time to work some magic. And that is all up to you, whether you want to um, use a palette knife or leave well enough alone and just torch it. It's all dependent on you, my friend. So what I am going to do first is I'm going to torch it. Yes, that's what I want to do. So I would love for you to pay attention to this area here. Now you can do this with a heat gun also. You don't need a torch to bring cells up. How cool is that? How cool is that? And you can be, uh, you can go and bring up these cells only where you want them. Now you will get some random bigger cells, like you can see them popping up in here, but I'm talking about these tiny ones. So you can kind of trace along a path of where you want them to be. Okay. I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Go right around here. It's like magic. Absolute magic. So I'm going to continue torching and then I will see how it looks and if I feel like I need to do something else to it. And then I'll bring you in for a close up. Alrighty, I'm done. I'm done. I'm happy with it. Even my uh, <clears throat> areas filled in there from the marbles rolling off. And again, I mean, just look at the outcome. I am not afraid to use silicone, people. Wash it off. You'll be fine. And again, I have nipple in my painting <laughs> well now let's see what else we can find <laughs> i can only imagine i'm afraid to look so i think what i'm going to be doing with this one is i'm going to let it dry and then i'm going to come back in and maybe hand paint it or not hand paint the colored area, the white background, because I have to hand paint the sides anyway. So that is just cool right there. I love that area. Wow. Love it. Love it, love it, and I hope you do too. 
So before we end today, I wanted to show you a couple of things I've been working on outside of YouTube. This is a jewelry box top that just came out so pretty I thought I would show it to you. Uh, I was doing the bloom technique here and actually coming up soon I have some information regarding products and this technique but uh excuse the footage it's just a little clip from my TikTok account which if you're not following me on TikTok I am there. So then this here is just a coaster box that coasters sit inside of and I figured I would design just one side of it but the real thing I want to show you right now is this wooden spoon I made because I just think it is adorable so what I did was use some recycled plastic paste that I bought from Blick along with some art stones also bought from Blick link is in the description I glued them down with medium gel. Then I took black gesso and I coated the entire piece once the gel had dried. So you just kind of black the whole thing out to where you're working with a black surface. <laughs> um, then I took some of my primary elements and turn them into glitter sprays glimmer sprays I should say and just kind of misted them over the piece to give a beautiful metallic shimmering look to it and then I dried that then the next thing I did was I came in with some metallic wax that you could also find on Blick and kind of just touch the top of the texture to give a little bit of a highlight to it again I am just zipping through this really quick this isn't a, a tutorial on how to do it just kind of explaining the steps for you but if you really want to see me do something like this I will most definitely do a video on it so once this is dry I decided to add some more texture using cloth now you can use any type of cloth you can use cheesecloth old netting uh, fish net packaging from meat sometimes meat comes in these red nets here like turkeys save it all gauze it all works and what you do is you take a piece and you put it onto a piece of uh, paper towel or whatever I have some gauze cheesecloth and some twine there and I'm just using my sprays again to color them now obviously if you want to use something like a piece of black cloth then you're gonna have to use a darker type of spray but you know I stained it I dried it and then I pulled out my little findings my butterflies my flowers and just hot glued everything onto the spoon Again, all of these supplies plus pouring supplies, you can find all of this stuff on Blick using the link in my description code and uh, in my description. And there's also a code down there for free shipping on $45 or more. So take advantage of it while they're offering it. I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description below for all the coupons and the links to my social media. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Join United We Pour Fluid Art Group and show me some of your work. It's just an honor and a privilege. I love you all and happy pouring. So I promise to give away for sponsors and viewers. So um this will be this month's sponsor box there will be two of them there's a pouring medium a fluid paint which those two together will show you what the perfect consistency is for paint pouring my favorite liquid gold a spatula um for swiping 
a level three canvas and probably a few more things before the end of the month. So there you have it. If you are a sponsor, there is nothing for you to do. If you are a viewer and want to be considered for the viewer giveaway, which is a gift card, just comment below this video. All right, this time I am really gone. I will see you next time, my friends. Bye-bye.